you think you don't need an RV inspection because it's new? <laughs> Funny, right? Let us tell you just a couple of stories since January 2023 till now, which is the beginning of June 2023. And we're just going to share five or six of some five. of our favorite. Five. We don't have time for six. We'd Seriously. be here all day, honestly. I mean, Let's start with that 2023 Coachman Encore 325 Double S. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was Noah's Ark. All, All animals little animals would fall in the dry, in the two. dealership of the driveway in the dealership. Says, moly, holy, she's coming out with towels hanging out of her. It was a flash flood. Now we're talking 17 minutes into a load of laundry. Yeah. Our customer Deb would have been at a dealership in their parking lot or at a campground putting her stuff into her RV. Her boxes would have been on the floor starting her laundry all of her boxes would have been flooded, floating down the driveway. But that wouldn't happen to you. Just that will because not happen. Because it's brand new. Why yeah, would yeah. it happen? Yeah. Not only that, her shower. Remember that? There was no sealant because somebody couldn't fit the caulking gun in there. I don't know, but it it flooded from every end of that shower, which makes no sense. But that's common. You 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 oh, find that a lot. I find I mean, that that's, all the time. Yeah. 2023, guys. This shouldn't be happening. You yeah. think? Yeah. No, That's why you need to hire an RV inspector. And I'm going to link it above so that you can watch it for yourself and see all the nitty gritty details. Even Coachman reached out on that unit, reached out to us, and were asking us when we go to Indiana, they want us to come by and they will pay us to do an inspection when one of their unit gets out at the end of the quality control. That would be interesting. We'll definitely put that on video if we can make it up there. So let's tell them about the 2023 Thor Challenger 36 FA. He's just shaking his head. Listen, know, listen, listen. <laughs> I know it's a Thor. You're going to say, well, oh, it's obvious it's a Thor. But put that beyond Thor. I mean, it's an RV, okay? They're all the same. People like Thor. So you got to be careful. You can't say it's a Thor. I'm not buying it. We see grand design that don't look any better. Sorry. I have to say it. But the fun thing about this one is that the gentleman that hired us is also an NRVIA RV inspector. And he knows Pierre. And he said, if anybody can do the job, it's you. He didn't even want to inspect his own unit. He wanted to make sure that Pierre inspected his Smart unit. man. Smart man. He knew that I'm way more anal than he is. <laughs> he was with me. He knows how I am. So I understand his perspective. But it, it's not about Michael, it's about his unit. So the unit he's looking at is a Thor 2023. This one was particularly Whew. exhaustive report, exhausting inspection. I was so sick of being there and finding crap one after the other. You gotta go see that video. That, we had that another is inspector bad. who was inspecting a rig beside us and he said to Pierre, that's a brand new unit. Yeah. He could see the exasperated looks on both of our faces all day long from walking into the RV and seeing the top of the countertop as if you would take in sandpaper and just scrape the whole top of the counter, not in just a small spot. I'm talking the whole countertop. I don't know if you can see this, but this entire countertop is scratched. Not just here, but this happens to be the worst. It's the entire thing. So something has been laid there sand underneath the box i don't know i can't tell you what it is but it's there for sure so let's go check out in the bathroom same thing the drain so look at the drain here it's pushed in something they can fix but still it's the first glimpse this is what you're seeing when you walk in but even pierre found a hole under the underbelly of the entire rv right where the shower would be in the wheel right. well of your rear tire they cut a hole because the plumbing didn't have enough room. The first elbow for the, the P-trap didn't have enough room. Well, so cut a hole. Uh, they cut a hole yep. in the wheel and it's open. Just cut a hole. So now you're going to be driving. Life safety. The headlights on the front. The low beam and the high beam on the right doesn't work. When were you leaving again? Well, first of all, I just happened to see this, but you got something here. 
you got a nail or something in your tire. So you're going to have to figure that out. So now here, this is your wheel well, OK? So that's your back wheel. And up here, I actually have a hole here. All right. Oh, well, that's my shower. Oh, OK, so that's my shower floor. This is open. This is linoleum. You guys are way smarter than me. I don't know what you're going to put in there before you leave. A crazy carpet? Michael, you better put a mud flap up there or something. You, you know, so... Well, he said they fixed it, so they probably did put a mud flap there. But he also... Well, I'm not he's always that had Michael. problems with toppers in the past. And that one didn't have a topper. This one's Brand spanking new. Toppers. So, yeah. And there was issues with the linoleum. Uh, the issues are abundant, as a matter of fact. I'm going to link that one here. You don't want to miss that. Make sure you go and watch this video. Breaking news, it's our one year YouTube anniversary. We have it all to thank to you guys. Thank you for watching all of our videos, sharing them, commenting, giving us the thumbs up. We really love and appreciate all of you. And don't forget, in the comments below, make sure to tell us what date you're actually watching this video because our anniversary is June 22nd, 2023. Those video exists because of you. We're doing this for you. We're trying to challenge you to look what you're going to be purchasing. And we're trying to share a little bit of our RV life also because, as you know, and if you don't, it's time for you to follow us. We're full-timers. Thank you for watching our channel. So the third one is the Integra Accolade XL37L. So that's Integra. So if you people who know Integra, and I even have some um, regional manufacturer representative that addressed the thing to us. It's supposed to be above there. You know, even we just have a Fleetwood, so it's nothing special. When you talk to Integra people, no, 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 you, you're down there. Integra is up here. Well, I'll challenge you on that one because we do inspection on them. So Pete and Megan are the proud owner of this baby. We bring back a couple of issues. In general, the construction is good. Beautiful. Pretty consistent, beautiful color, beautiful outside. But the first thing we saw when we came outside, when we pulled in, one of the bulb seal in the front, and as they drove down from Indiana, that bulb seal's been slapping on the sidewall it all along. So, it. so you see that. Ah, oh. they'll buff it, they'll polish it, it's fine. On the other side of one of the bay door, there's a ding right in the middle, which is fine. Things can happen, somebody could have opened the door, whatever it is. My point is, this is pristine. This is right there. We're coming to inspect, and hopefully, they'll repair it. Well, I know for a fact that when they picked it up two, three weeks later, the ding was still there. But the major thing for me was the challenge that I gave to Integra about the size of the box itself. All right, so this wiper seal should be touching. As you can see, it doesn't touch all the way. Then the inner seal, which would be this one, uh, actually doesn't touch nothing either. So it's like now I'm inside with my slide out and nothing sealing it, nothing sealing it. I hate working with one hand, but you see what I'm saying? This does absolutely nothing. I can hear Lowell in there and this absolutely nothing. The box itself is too small or the hole is too big. Oh, but there was a challenge. Integra challenged me and my findings also. Even the dealership was kind of pissed. Listen, they got half a million dollar unit. Uh, not half a million. It's only 400,000, 389 oh, yeah, or whatever right. they paid. So yeah. get over yourself. It's a freaking motorhome. It's, it's just an RV. It was within norm. That came from the dealership. The dealership, how, how did they know about norm, about the manufacturing, whatever. The next couple of units that we inspected that were the same exact model were normal. Oh, they yeah. didn't have this issue from at all. 2023 to 2020, all of them don't have that issue. And thankfully, we could send that to our customers so they could see, yeah, but, you know what, our findings were correct. But I know that... The point about this is they're going to end up in Indiana. They already have a contact at Integra. and I know what Integra is going to do. They're not going to fix nothing. They're just going to put a bigger wiper seal. So it's going to go down lower so it will finally cut off and do what it's supposed to do. So 
I know we'll link that video above there and you go watch that out because that's going to be interesting too. That's a nice one, beautiful unit, but still another problem. So the fourth one is a Cherokee Wolfpack 25 Pack 12. That's a travel trailer, kind of sort of a toy hauler, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it is a toy hauler. Yeah. So that was interesting too because I'm not, I don't, we don't do much travel trailers. We do travel trailers, but not travel trailer toy hauler. But not so even travel was... trailer. We don't do them often. People feel, I, and I, I kind of understand because they feel that we're only paying 35,000 bucks or 45,000 bucks for an RV. So why would I spend a thousand bucks on an inspection? I because mean- Because that's your money. <laughs> that's, that's okay, it's money. your money. It's fine. I mean, for us, it's okay. It's less time than a motor home, than a big fifth wheel. So yes, we charge a little bit less. That's about the running price. And by the way, if somebody offers you to do an inspection at five, six hundred bucks, don't spend Run. your don't spend your time. Don't lose your money. Just keep your money. The dealership will do the same inspection as that guy that did it at five, six hundred bucks. You get what you pay for. I, I'm talking about full blown inspection. I know some people do essential and they do those those safety. That's fine. Those are less expensive because we're actually confirmed to you that there's an RV right in front of us. I'm just saying. I know they're not going to like me. My point is, as long as you like me and you like what we do for you guys, that's my goal. This unit had an issue with his slide. As you can see, the slide box itself is actually the same size as the whole opening. But why would you care? It's a 2023, you don't need an inspection, it can't happen. Well, it does happen, it, it happens, that's how it is. Look at that video, she'll link it to you above, we'll see what it looks like, and you tell me in the comments below how you feel if you come up there on that morning that you're picking it up, what are you going to do? And, and I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I already paid so much for this, 30, 40,000 bucks. So it's okay. I, I, I can't expect, it's not their fault. It's the manufacturer. They're selling it to you. Why are you accepting this? There's another Wolf Pack 25 Pack 12 in the yard, if not elsewhere. You don't need that one that they screwed up on. That's not yours to have. You have the choice. You control your, your destiny. You control the unit you're gonna buy. Why do you feel committed while well, they ordered this 300,000 or 35,000 dollar unit, so I have to buy it because I committed. Remember, no, they're you made don't. by humans, so they're individual, right? So just like an, uh, an artist, every RV is made differently. So every one of them will have different issues with them. So that was with that one. Basic, travel trailer, nothing special, not, nothing out of the ordinary, a basic travel trailer. Brand spanking new. Number five, Venetian B42. That's a huge unit. We're talking tag axle here. So you want to talk, we went from- We're talking expensive. From gas engine, little 34, 30 footer, to travel trailer, to class A with tag axle and all the mechanical, the diesel. I'm going to link this here. You're going to want to see this one. These are just my comments. Just looking at it. Just looking out at floats, how the construction is made, and I'm not kidding when I say this, when I do this, you tell me if you, and, and there's a deal, That's, that unit is a hell of a deal. So tell me if you're paying half a million dollar, or let's say they reduce the price because of our finding to $400,000, 450, whatever they paid, I don't even know, but would you, would you buy this? Look what she's showing you. This is me, it's not an intent. I'm not there to destroy the unit. I'm there to bring back facts. So I hope you understand where we come from with this. All the inside, all the different things. And again, I'm gonna say, I know people are gonna come and they, they're gonna say, well, this is a Thor, it makes total sense. Thor or POS or whatever. Where was the dealer PVI before we got there? The first thing we saw walking in were all the seals with the slides in off falling the off. They're off the wall. They didn't go there. I mean, and the dealer did a PVI. Look at the cleanliness of that unit. All the furniture. Yes, it's light colored, but it is 
filthy. There is so much dirt, little grease marks all over everything. The couch, the dinette. I mean, you can see Pierre showing you now, but everything is just really dirty and has not been washed. It's filthy. The leather, light leather, I'm telling you, this thing is nothing but filth. The amount of money that customer's spending, and that's your PDI? That's how you're letting this get sold? So if you still wonder if you need an inspection in 2023, 20, 24, 25, on whenever you're looking unit. at this, on a brand new unit, maybe you want to rethink your statement here. So I will use a statement that a customer sent us over. It's by P.T. Barnum that says, there's a sucker born every minute. Well, I hope after this glimpse, you have a clue. And I'd hope you're not one of them suckers. Get yourself an RV inspector. So remember. And do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about, about the, the journey. journey.